Hi, this video aims to explain how the Shiver 3 ECG unit can be used to measure electrical signals from the skin, including ECG data using the Shimmer platform. The Shimmer 3 ECG sensor is recognized as one of the leading tools in the research and commercial industry for wearable wireless sensing of ECG signals. The sensor has been used extensively in hundreds of research applications and commercial uses in areas such as heart function monitoring, fatty analysis, cardiorespiratory fitness estimation, arrhythmia detection, and many more. Firstly, let's introduce the hardware required to collect data, beginning with the sensor. As you can see, the Shimmer 3 ECG sensor is quite lightweight, weighing just 31 grams, with compact dimensions of 65 by 32 by 12 millimeters. Each of the Shimmer ECG sensors come with a waist strap for placement on the body. The ECG sensor can measure four channels of ECG simultaneously, recording the pathway of electrical impulses through the heart muscle. It can be used on resting or ambulatory subjects, or it can be used during exercise to provide information about the heart's response to physical exertion. Shimmer 3 ECG unit provides a five wire, four lead ECG solution. As you can see, the unit has five ports. Four ports for the bipolar limb leads, and one port, the brown port, for the unipolar limb leads. With our system, the unit is typically placed on the chest. With biophysical leads connecting the unit to the five ECG gel electrodes that are placed at the measurement site. ECG electrodes come standard with our kits, as do biophysical leads. Also worth mentioning is that the ECG sensor has the full 9 off inertial sensing capability that our standard IMU sensor does. All of these signals can be measured simultaneously to allow for greater context to be given to the subject's activity. The next item of hardware that you require is a base or dock. For today's example, you can see our consensus base 15, which enables the multi-management of 15 shimmer units at once. We also have a base 6 and a single dock that provides similar functionality when working with smaller quantities of sensors. The base connects directly to your PC or laptop via a USB port. The consensus base, in conjunction with our consensus software applications, allow users to configure multiple units at once. That includes setting the sampling rate, enabling or disabling what sensing signals you want to measure and setting the appropriate firmware you require for your data collection. The base also allows for simultaneous charging of multiple units. We are now going to focus our attention on our consensus application. For the purposes of this exercise, I'm using the Consensus Pro version of this software. When you start the application, you are presented with three core tabs, Manage Devices, live data, and manage data. I'll explain the function of each tab in this video. The first tab is manage devices. This tab is essential for when you are starting your trial as it allows you to perform a number of functions, including programming the firmware, configuring the devices, and importing the data from the device's SD card. All of these functions should be considered before you start collecting data. Today, we are going to collect both logged and live data from the Shimmer 3 ECG device. The Shimmer 3 ECG has an inbuilt SD card for collecting data and also has Bluetooth capability for streaming data live. The first step in the data collection process is to ensure that the firmware is set correctly. I select the unit that I want to collect data from and then click the firmware here. The firmware that I want to use today is login stream. So I simply select this and then write to the unit. Next, we must configure this unit. First thing that I want to do is to set a unique trial name. Following this, I want to consider what logging method to use. With the dock undock method, when I undock the shimmer from the consensus base, 
it will automatically start logging data to the inbuilt SD card on the unit. With the user button option, the orange user button on the shimmer acts as a start and stop. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to use the undock method. Next, I need to decide what signals that I want enabled for my trial. This is done by highlighting on a particular signal. If it's greyed out, it's not enabled. If it's highlighted, it is enabled. The range can also be set on these signals. For the purpose of this trial, I'm going to use the Wide-Range Accelerometer, Gyroscope and ECG. The sampling rate can also be set at this point. The sampling rate can be set from a minimum of 1 Hz to a maximum of 2048 Hz. For the purposes of this video, let's set the sampling rate at 512 Hz. This is the recommended sampling rate for clinical grade ECG data acquisition. This is done by inputting into the box and pressing enter. We can also add algorithms to this trial. Here you can see the ECG to heart rate algorithm. This will allow you to calculate heart rate in beats per minute from the ECG using the R waves. This algorithm can be applied to live or logged data. In this case, we'll be applying it to the live data that we are going to collect. The final tab to consider is our calibration settings. At this point, if I'm happy with the sensing signals that I've enabled and the various other settings, I can write these settings to the shimmers by pressing write config down here. So my unit is now ready to start collecting data. Firstly, I'm going to undock the unit from the consensus base. It is now logging data to the inbuilt SD card. This is verified by the intermittent green flashing LED lights on the unit. The LEDs on shimmer units indicate what state they are in. The other option, which is the user button, if I had selected that by pressing the unit on and off with the orange button here, it would either log to the SD card or not. Each electrode should be placed on the body, away from the heart, and in the direction of the joint to the relevant limb. It is useful to note that although it is common practice to place the limb electrodes on the arms or legs, in reality, all of the limb electrodes can be placed on the chest. Generally, the placement will be towards the left arm for the LA electrode, towards the right arm for the RA electrode, and towards the left leg for the LL electrode. For example, the RA electrode can be placed anywhere on the chest as long as it is positioned away from the heart and in the direction of the right shoulder, which can also be seen in the diagram on screen. The reference electrode, the RL electrode, can be placed anywhere on the body as long as it is outside of the triangle formed by the three other limb electrodes, the LA, LL and RA electrodes. This can also be seen in the diagram. The VX electrode can be placed at any of the positions shown in the diagram, depending on the user's specific requirements. Next, I'm going to introduce you to the live data tab on our consensus software. This, as you might have guessed, is where live data can be visualized. First things first, what you will need to do is ensure that the devices you want to stream data from are paired with your PC or laptop and visible in consensus. Following this, we select the devices that we want to stream from, connect the Bluetooth, and once a Bluetooth connection is established, we can begin streaming signals from this device. We can also record the live data from this device and store in a local database on the software application. There are a number of different options for plotting the signals. We can have all signals on one plot, or we can have different signals on different plots as we wish. The plot settings can also be configured to your needs, such as changing the X and Y axis scale range. As we discussed, these units are currently logging data. To record live data locally to the PC, I simply select the units and press record down below as so. Let's take a closer look at the data visualization.
Another option when recording live data is to add event markers to highlight moments of interest. You can add the event marker here. There are two types of event markers. The pulse adds a single marker to the data, while toggle sets the event marker over a period that is defined by the user pressing, starting and stopping the toggle event marker. I'll show a couple of examples here. The pulse is a single marker as you can see, while the toggle is defined by a start stop. These event markers are time correlated with the data that you are currently recording. So I've now completed collecting data for this demo. The next step is to retrieve the data. Firstly, the live stream data is automatically saved onto the local database. I can see this is a managed data under the trial name that I set earlier, ECG video. We can see here that the transmission rate was very high, with little to none dropped packets. The next step is to import the logged data from the unit's SD cards. I'll now place the units back in the consensus base. I'll select the unit in question and select the import button. This process is pretty straightforward and intuitive. The software starts by reading the unit's SD cards and then presents you with the data available to import. On completion, you will see that the data is now in the Manage Data tab. So for the trial ECG video, I have two data sets. One, as we mentioned, with live PC recording, and the other with the data from the SD card. The final step is to export the data if we wish to process it further in data manip manipulation programs, such as MATLAB, for example. We select the trial or trials that we want to export. The raw data can be exported in a number of different data and time formats to the user's preference. Also, at this point, filters and algorithms can be applied to the data if appropriate. Finally, we can see that the data has been exported and is available in a local folder on your PC. So that concludes our demonstration video on collecting ECG data with the Shimmer 3 ECG sensor and the Consensus Sulfur platform. Just to note, we also offer the Shimmer ECG MD unit, which is Shimmer's first wireless CE certified Class 2A medical device, incorporating a five wire, four lead, Holter Monitor Electrocardiograph, or ECG. It is designed for medical professionals, medical researchers, or system integrators for incorporation into their final end products. More information can be found on our website at www.shimmersensing.com. We hope you found this video beneficial. If you have any questions at all about the ECG sensor or the data collection process with Shimmer, please email us at info at We look forward to hearing from you.